that when we wake up in the morning, then as soon as you wake up, switch your telephone on. Now everybody has a phone nowadays. So put the phone on as soon as you get up and then put on the tape recorder or a recording device. And then all day long keep the phone next to you. And don't switch the phone off. Let the recording take place where you're going to work, shops, shopping, at home, meeting the children, going to hospital. Don't switch off the recording device on the phone. And everything you say will be recorded. And when you come back home in the evening, or when you decide to retire to sleep in the evening on your bed, then all of the recorded matter, listen to it. Listen to it. And when you will hear the recording of the whole day, then everything will be laid out bare in front of you. Very easily, and you will be able to analyze what did you do in that day. And because all of your words that you have uttered that day will have been recorded in the 24 hours preceding that, at that time, one will realize one thing. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the great ni'mah that Allah ta'ala has given us, one of the greatest gifts, one of the greatest ni'mahs that Allah ta'ala has given us, which is strong and powerful and azim, which is to speak to talk, to move the tongue, for the volume to come out, to emanate voice. So we'll realize in the evening when we analyze the recorded matter from the phone, that this ni'mah of, of talking, how sadly... Because the tongue was not given to us to earn dunya. It wasn't given to us to earn dunya. These hands weren't given to us to earn dunya, to sit down and count the cash. We weren't given our legs and feet just for walking dunya. Allah Ta'ala said, I have created everything that I've given you and the link with all the limbs and the function of the body is with Jannah. And the point here is that if we do something good, then automatically we get the reward in Jannah. The one part, every juice, every part of this body has no link with the dunya, rather it is connected to the akhirah, to the hereafter. And if from these limbs and functions of the body we do something jayz in the dunya, a permissible action, then even even that will go and be saved up and accumulate in our record of uh, deeds record for the author. For example, you're saying something to someone, you're speaking to your son, or you're earning something halal, or you're saying something to raise your kids. All of this is jais. This is permissible. You can use your tongue to obviously attain what you need in the world. But the opposite can also take place. So all our body, every single part of our body, every atom is linked to who? To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That the, the tongue, when we speak, three things emanate or result. Either we will utter such words from our mouth that are good for the akhra, good. And the akhra will improve upon improve. So this is one thing that the tongue does. It increases the reward in the akhra. Or function number two, such words will emanate from our mouth that will take us to jahannam. And third, what comes out, the third thing that comes out is that you don't get any benefit in this world or the hereafter, and this is hanging in between, suspended. So there are three results or status points results with the use of the tongue. So let's now analyze the recording on the phone. So on which of these three did we spend more time during the day, my friends?